up, Whooper Gang? Bice here, and I'm playing a bit of a bit of a fun deck here. We're playing the perhaps overlooked Pokemon in the Pokemon Go set, Alone Executor V. So this Pokemon boasts 240 HP, which is quite a lot for a basic V. The main draw here is the Head Swing attack. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each Grass Energy attached to this Pokemon. So. The idea is to load this Executor with a lot of energy and then swing big with Head Swing. What helps us do that, you might be wondering? Well, Blastoise, of course, in concert with the Diancie, has been a proven engine for powering up Pokemon safely on the bench. So, Vitality Spring, once during your turn, search your deck for up to six energy cards, attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your deck if you use this ability, your turn ends. So... The idea is you Vitality Spring all that energy to the Executor and to protect it from being targeted down with, let's say, a boss's orders, you have Diancie in the active spot, which with the ability Princess Curtain says, as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, whenever your opponent plays a supporter from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to your bench Pokemon. So, the idea is in some matchups, you want to get energy onto a couple of Executor, Sometimes, if it's a VMAX matchup or a matchup where you're confident that your Executor V can withstand a couple of attacks, maybe you Vitality Spring twice to the Executor. You know, if you get more than 10 energy on it, then you're swinging for some very big numbers, over 300 damage. Okay. To round things out, you've got Cricket Tune here, Swelling Tune, adds 40 HP to your Grass Pokemon, Cape of Toughness adds extra HP as well. So with the cape and the cricket tune in play, you're hitting upwards of 330 HP on a V Pokemon. So boasting V max levels of HP, but only giving up two prizes. Pretty fascinating, pretty good. Then to help you seal out the end game, you've got Shaman V-Star with Revenge Blast doing 120 and then 40 more for each prize card your opponent has taken. And reasonably easy to energize. You don't need to lose a turn with Blastoise just to get Shaman V-Star up and running. You've got Radiant Greninja to smooth out your setup and just the familiar suspects in the trainer line. I've got a couple of games coming up. And look, if you enjoy watching videos with decks that look a, a bit like this and a little less like, to be honest, a little less like a tier one deck, which... I don't think that this deck particularly fits into that tier based on the performance of it tonight. But look, nonetheless, i got a couple of games coming up. If you enjoy seeing decks like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Every subscription helps. And it's been very much appreciated over the last little while seeing all the support for the channel, the comments, the people tuning into the live streams and saying, hey, you know, so glad to finally catch a live stream. So with that being said, whether you're a VOD viewer or a live stream viewer, I hope to see you again very soon. Enjoy, take care. And there'll be certain kinds of like uh, content that will only be possible if you're like a, a, a sort of like a, a more um, accomplished player, I guess. So, you know, being able to play like, okay, this is an Arceus tier deck, or this is me making it to Arceus tier. Like, basically being able to put that you're, you're a top rank player in your stream will get people to watch you. Feels like Unite. Mm. But hopefully, hopefully it's not uh, strictly like that. Ooh. Clutch. The clutch squirtle. Here we go. Get in there, mate. Yeah, let's go. Cape? Yes. Speed run the ladder to Arceus rank. It's already been done. The player who got there, got to Arceus rank first, was played Durant the whole way. Which was very funny. What? Hey, 
No, I don't like that. Don't X-ball me, bro. Don't do it to me. That's not good for us. What? What? That's awesome. But don't do it to me, Mew. <laughs> That's random as. Alright, Roar of the Sword, maybe? Alright, Marnie, I'll take it. Good. Oh. Now, I'm a bit disappointed by that last game. I had the game in the bag, but I knocked out the wrong Pokemon. I didn't knock out the one that could one-shot me. I just... Not paying attention. Not paying close enough attention. It's like that sometimes, but... Alright, don't... Don't bench her Calyrex. And that'll be really good for us. It's really annoying. I have to... I have to threaten the Mute before I can threaten the Calyrex. Because this thing can one-hit KO me. Don't doff it. Try it. Yep. Okay. That's turnover, right? Yep. Get rid of the cape. We need Wimini on here. How many Dianceys do I play? I play the full four. I'm about it. The Diancy life. I feel bad about the trajectory of the turn. I feel like research might be the play. I don't know. Irida definitely gets what I want. But I have nothing in the turns upcoming if I do that. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do it like this. How many Irida? Four. I think. Yeah, four, four. I don't think playing this really behooves us at the moment, so let's research. Get lucky. Thank you very much. Where are my blasts? Hello? Dude. This game hates me. Hates me today. As if we prized both of them, dude. That sucks. That actually just sucks. That sucks, dude. Card Collector Bray. Hello. It's evening to me, so I'll say good evening to you, but hello. Regardless. Let's grab Diancy. I think our Cricketot is prized here, too. That also blows. We had we had a good open there. We got we got everything that we wanted. And then prized. Prized our blast oysters and a cricket tot. Never mind. But how are you, Bray? Morning. Well, top of it to you. Card collector brain. Top of the morning to you. Let's do this. We'll take a grass energy. And we might just throw it on the Diancy for some damage. Now our opponent is going to leave the Mew in the active. We might be able to soften it up, right? If we can do that enough, maybe we can head swing it. Alright, 20 and 20 brings it down to 140. Would be probably it's a bit far. Hmm. 
How am I? I'm good, thank you. You know, it's the end of the week for me. Settling in for a nice, relaxing Alolan Executor stream. I'm trying really hard to get some reasonable games in with the deck. It is difficult. Because the deck's not that good. So, you know. So I think on this turn, I want to conceal. Just draw a little bit more. Okay. Heavy ball. Thank you. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Look at them! And we can do this. Grab an energy. Falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you'll be here tomorrow. I'm sure we'll see you. I'm sure we'll see you. Oh, let's go, Cricketot. We might just have to hit done. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Always appreciate seeing you in the stream, Ramon. As usual, as always. Here for the Whooper Gang. Here for the good times, you know? Despite the lack of Whoopers on screen. We could put a Whooper on screen. Where is it? Here it is. Whoopers go marching. Alright, here comes Mew. Threatening. The triple attach. A little bit... A little bit of a bother. Not... Not the greatest scenario. Not the best. We will persevere. Another Executor enters the fray, I think. Or, or, we hit him with one of these. Because this game has sort of gone beyond the realm of which a Blastoise is even going to have a chance at helping us. We're going to have to get it done with Shaman. <laughs> Unfortunately. But that's okay. Head swing. And... I think we'll we'll take a shot at the active. How about that? Just for a bit of fun. We face down 180 damage at the moment. We do stand tall at 330. So you know it's gonna be a, a bit of a question of whether we can hang on. Hold on. Can we survive? The mighty X ball from the Mu V. The uh, terror of the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Underworld door. Accelerate an energy, draw two cards. Swing heavy ball. A glimpse of things to come in the prizes. Energy. To the hellish horse. From the underworld. Cresselia to the active spot. A swing. At the executor. So. We have a strategy. I have a strategy. Okay. Diancy. No energy in the discard pile as yet. So. Head swing. Collect the KO. Blastoise. Never mind. Never mind. Avery once again, Squirtle, not likely to have its turn, unlikely to have its turn. Let's see what happens. What can we produce?
We need boss's orders. <laughs> this game. Because we need this. We need to take a shot at the Calyrex. Photon laser isn't enough, mind you. It's not enough. To produce a KO. So, we will see. Come what may. Photon laser. Another lot of damage to the board. 120 is a not insignificant amount of damage looking at our opponent's board. trying to decide what the line is here. Escape rope's been used. I think we just take energy off their board. We do have a scheme in mind. Alright, never you mind. Never you mind. 320 HP is the target. The line here is reliant on them not having certain options. We accept that the Alolan Executor will be cut down to size. We promote the Diancy. Force them into one prize remaining. And hopefully, Shaman V-Star gets it done. We will see. Fluffball Star. Bit of a worry, but... Hopefully... Hopefully not the worst. Do you have Cricket Turn? Cricket Tune, rather? Boosting our HP, so it should be okay. We will simply promote the Diancy energy. So the Shaman. Energy from the discard pile. And a pass. No. Let's be extra safe. Extra safe. Where we lose is if they decide to attack with Whimsicott Star. That's where... That's where the strategy falls over for us. But if they remain in with the Calyrex, we might be okay. We might be all right. We'll see. Okay, I think we're in. I think we got it. Ghost, hello. I did not think that we had this game. I thought we were done for sure. 
But I believe at one prize remaining on this side, Revenge Blast. twenty. Clinched it at the end? Wow. We got that. How about that? Not bad, not bad. And yeah, GG. GG. You got a good game in. The only... So, like, the, the problem with that is that, like... Okay, you, maybe you accept that, like, decks don't win all the time. But if... You put up videos of like decks just just like losing and like losing badly. You don't really get to how do I put it? Demonstrate what the deck's supposed to do, and like anybody could just put together sixty cards of anything without any coherent strategy and be like, "Here's my deck. Please, please devote fifty minutes of your time to watching." You know. All right, well, this is a bit of an average opening, but we are going to try. You enjoyed it, Funky? I'm glad. I'm glad that it was useful to you. Now, what's going on here? What What is this? I like Cricketot. You like Cricketot. What's going on? What shenanigans have you got ahead? Zarud. Oh, buddy. Now you're talking my language. Zarud V. Zarudest of them all, perhaps. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, that one. Radiant Greninja, perhaps not what they want in the active. Emerald passes the turn. Irida, perhaps the order of the day. Let us go with no Greninja, as it happens. So we'll take that one, and we might take this one. A level wall is fine. Grab ourselves a Squirtle to the safety of the bench behind the curtain. Diancy. Protective. Spike draw. Let's see what we can do. Shaman V Star arriving on the scene a little earlier than planned. Perhaps not exactly what I want, but. Never mind, we will persevere. Figure it out as we go. Emerald, I'm gonna show what the deck can do. Somewhere while playing, mention how often you can pull out, pull off what is being shown and whether it's good to play to get win streaks. Yeah, yeah. so like being up front with the, this is why I, what I always say, right? Like sometimes you build decks to be tier one to give you super consistent results. Sometimes, you build decks that have a habit of crumpling <laughs> and only winning 1 in 20 games. Can you use code cards from box opening videos? Yeah. For, for example, if they haven't been used by other people. Sure. So, Irida will get us two very important combo pieces, the Rare Candy and the Blastoise. Quick ball. And thanks to our opponent and their perhaps slow setup. We're afforded an opportunity to set up ourselves. So Funky, the the hard part, in theory, is getting the very first packs that you can trade. But once you've got the tradable packs, 
you can start to learn how trading on PTCGO works and work towards a work work towards a deck. You know? And then once you've sort of got your first deck going, then you know uh, you sort of just like you know, once a day, put up your trades, see how much you can get, and, and off you go, you know? Makes sense, yeah. So, the strategy in this game, I think, is going to be one where we load an executor heavily with energy. After, after playing tonight, it's starting to feel like... How much HP do you have? 250? Starting to feel like the Delmize VMAX might be the play. Because more and more often do I find that I'm just loading all of my energy onto one Pokemon. The reason why I don't go to the Delmize VMAX strategy, I think, is because the extra HP doesn't always matter. And while it's evolved, which is like another piece of the puzzle that you have to find in a deck that's already quite convoluted. While it's set up that way. Um, it's not protected by Diancie. Alright, the jungle rage. It's heard throughout the land. Zarud on board, finally. So. I think we take Greninja here. It is unfortunately not the option that we're after. Not what we're looking for. I do need to draw cards, as a matter of fact. So let's do that. Because our Executor has a dangerously low amount of HP. So, not fantastic for our longevity, but we will persevere. Head swing. Powerful. 360. You can't purchase cards, but you're satisfied with online. Uh, uh, your question, Funky, do I collect Pokemon cards? I don't, I don't particularly, like, collect them, but... Because I'm a competitive player, because I play, like, uh, IRL events and stuff like that, I end up getting a lot of uh, cards that way. Like, if I, look, if I look to my side, I've got, you know, just stacks of Pokemon cards, right? I have them. Maybe I should make a deck with this Electivire. You see this Electivire? I like it. One energy for like 120. It's not bad. So, now, if not for this mana fee, nowhere would be safe for our opponent. And our hefty, regal, and powerful executor standing tall would be quite the threat. But instead, we're left to flounder and wonder what can we do about the Manaphy. Just as we got our hands on a cape, the Marnie is the play. The poultry selection avails itself. We do have Greninja, do have Radiant Greninja on the board. 
We'll take an incense here. And... I guess we'll just... Mm, no. We won't put anything in here. Oh, I could have taken the Blastoise, actually. My bad. Cricketune, where are uh, thou? I cannot believe that exactly those two cards are what were retrieved. Fantastic. Excellent. Revenge Blast is a bit of a problem. If I simply click Head Swing here, we're in trouble. So not to be. A well played from our opponent. Emerald acknowledging that we recognized their line of play. Cyan Nieb. I hope I'm saying your, your name correctly there. You're new to Pokemon TCG Online. Well, welcome. Pokemon TCG Online is glad to have you. And hopefully you're enjoying your, your time with the game. I forgot to play... Or did I top deck the cape? I'm not sure how. How I missed that. Never mind. Yeah. And so... How have you been going with the game so far? What's your experience been like? A little bit of an impasse, perhaps, for us. We do need 10 energy on this. And then Spike Draw continues to search for the one card that we need for this scenario. Boss's orders. <laughs> A bit tricky to obtain. A stalemate, if you like. Gardenia's Vigor. Supporter for the turn. Accelerating two grass energy, no less, from the hand. Energy attachment to the Greninja signals a change in strategy. Of course, Zarud into the active. Playing on theme versus. Well, theme versus matches are fun. You know, you get to see a variety of decks and strategies. Everybody's on a reasonably even playing field. What theme deck are you playing? Sayin. So we see a swarm of Pokemon on the bench. Equally, our opponent has identified our condition for play as well. Perhaps a drama unfolding before us. But we will persevere. Let's retreat. Three ten. Well, we can handle that. I think. Head swing. An interesting trajectory this game has taken. Both of us playing around the cards and play. Yes, PTCG Live is a new game coming in the future. It will eventually replace the game that we're playing, but our collections will transfer to that game. A very costly amount of energy entering the discard pile, but it does free space for us. Quick Ball is the play. Executor to the discard pile. Shaman 
is the pick on the bench. You take an energy, put it in hand. And now, our opponent. Is on a timer. What can you do? Can you do it? The Shaman may take the KO, but at what cost? At what cost? Roxanne. Powerful. Mighty, even. A tall task to overcome. But... Did we perhaps luck out? An energy retrieved. What's going to happen? The extra HP I didn't consider on the V-Star. It remains to be seen, doesn't it? It remains to be seen. Boss's orders is an order of of worry. There may be no other line available to us than simply to V Star to Shaman here. Luminion on the bench may be our loss condition. Without access to belts, we may not be able to hit hard enough. 120 plus 200. Wait. No. 120 plus 160, 280. We're short by 10. Unbelievable. 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 Let's consider one more time. 120 damage is the base. They've taken four prizes, so 160. 160 plus 120 is 280, 290 HP. So our only line of play here is to retreat and hit done. Go go to have dinner. Well, thank you for joining us briefly, Funky. I try to stream around about this time frame every week. Well played. Revenge Blast gets KO'd. Ah. Uh, absolute thievery. A scam, perhaps. <laughs> no, well played. Well earned. Emerald, well earned. 